Joel chapter 3 In those days, and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There I will put them on trial for what they did to my inheritance, my people Israel, because they scattered my people among the nations and divided up my land. They cast lots for my people and traded boys for prostitutes. They sold girls for wine to drink. Now, what have you against me, Tyre and Sidon, and all you regions of Philistia? Are you repaying me for something I have done? If you are paying me back, I will swiftly and speedily return on your own heads what you have done. For you took my silver and my gold and carried off my finest treasures to your temples. You sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks, so that you might send them far from their homeland. See, I am going to rouse them out of the places to which you sold them, and I will return on your own heads what you have done. I will sell your sons and daughters to the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabaeans, a nation far away. The Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Rouse the warriors. Let all the fighting men draw near and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. Come quickly, all you nations from every side, and assemble there. Bring down your warriors, Lord. Let the nations be roused. Let them advance into the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the nations on every side. Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, trample the grapes, for the winepress is full, and the vats overflow. So great is their wickedness. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and moon will be darkened and the stars no longer shine. The Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the heavens will tremble. But the Lord will be a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. Then you will know that I, the Lord your God, dwell in Zion, my holy hill. Jerusalem will be holy. Never again will foreigners invade her. In that day the mountains will drip new wine, and the hills will flow with milk. All the ravines of Judah will run with water. A fountain will flow out of the Lord's house, and will water the valley of Acacias. But Egypt will be desolate, Edom a desert waste, because of violence done to the people of Judah, in whose land they shed innocent blood. Judah will be inhabited forever, and Jerusalem through all generations. Shall I leave their innocent blood unavenged? No, I will not. The Lord dwells in Zion. The Book of Amos Amos Chapter 1 The words of Amos, one of the shepherds of Tekoa, the vision he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake, when Isaiah was king of Judah, and Jeroboam son of Jehoash was king of Israel. He said, The Lord roars from Zion and thunders from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds dry up, and the top of Carmel withers. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not relent. Because she threshed Gilead with sledges having iron teeth, I will send fire on the house of Hazael, that will consume the fortresses of Ben-Hadad. I will break down the gate of Damascus. I will destroy the king who is in the valley of Avon and the one who holds the scepter in Beth Eden. The people of Aram will go into exile to Kerr, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. 
For three sins of Gaza, even for four, I will not relent. Because she took captive whole communities and sold them to Edom. I will send fire on the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses. I will destroy the king of Ashdod and the one who holds the scepter in Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron till the last of the Philistines are dead, says the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Tyre, even for four, I will not relent. Because she sold whole communities of captives to Edom, disregarding a treaty of brotherhood, I will send fire on the walls of Tyre that will consume her fortresses. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not relent. Because he pursued his brother with a sword and slaughtered the women of the land. Because his anger raged continually and his fury flamed unchecked, I will send fire on Timon that will consume the fortresses of Bozrah. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Ammon, even for four, I will not relent, because he ripped open the pregnant women of Gilead in order to extend his borders. I will set fire to the walls of Rabbah that will consume her fortresses amid war cries on the day of battle. Amid violent winds on a stormy day, her king will go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Lord. Psalm 137 By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the poplars we hung our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs, our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Remember, Lord, what the Edomites did on the day Jerusalem fell. Tear it down, they cried. Tear it down to its foundations. Daughter Babylon, doomed to destruction. Happy is the one who repays you according to what you have done to us. Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Proverbs chapter 24 Saying 20 Do not envy the wicked, do not desire their company. For their hearts plot violence and their lips talk about making trouble. Saying 21 By wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Saying 22 The wise prevail through great power, and those who have knowledge muster their strength. Surely you need guidance to wage war, and victory is won through many advisers. Saying 23 Wisdom is too high for fools, in the assembly at the gate they must not open their mouths. Saying 24 Whoever plots evil will be known as a schemer. The schemes of folly are sin, and people detest a mocker. Saying 25 If you falter in a time of trouble, how small is your strength? Rescue those being led away to death, hold back those staggering towards slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this. Does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay everyone according to what they have done? Saying 26 Eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. Saying 27 Do not lurk like a thief near the house of the righteous. Do not plunder their dwelling place. For though the righteous fall seven times, 
they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Saying 28. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice. Or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from them. Saying 29. Do not fret because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked. For the evildoer has no future hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. Saying 30. Fear the Lord and the King, my son, and do not join with rebellious officials, for those two will send sudden destruction on them, and who knows what calamities they can bring. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations but it will go well with those who convict the guilty, and rich blessing will come on them. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Do not testify against your neighbor without cause. Would you use your lips to mislead? Do not say, I'll do to them as they have done to me. I'll pay them back for what they did. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere, the ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man.